Like, hey, buddy. Oh, oh. I'm break dancing in the middle of the street. Don't bother me. Oh shit. And we're back at this again. Oy vey. <laughs> so, childhood crushes again. Something that I think a lot of us. A lot of us, you know, had to a certain degree. I mean, except for certain people. You know, I know Jaden says that during during her childhood, she really didn't have any hardline crushes. She thought she did, but she later realized she only thought that that person was just cool, and that's and that's just that. And you see, and it comes down to it. Like, there's like childhood crushes that you know we've talked about them ad nauseum on here. I mean. I mean, I remember when I was about 10 years old and I watched Desperado for the first time and I saw Selma Hayek, I was just like, uh... <laughs> I, 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 I was speechless. I literally could not say a word outside of just, like, looking at her and just being like, this is hands down probably the most beautiful woman on the face of the earth right now. And, you know, then, you know, Who's... once you start... <laughs> Go ahead. Who's the girl that played the main character of Underworld? Oh, uh, Kate Beckinsale. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, no, uh, dude, Kate Beckinsale yeah. in the Underworld movies. When Underworld came out, I was just like, she's hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that outfit did did her a lot of favors. And also, Kate Beckinsale is just a beautiful woman. Uh, then, of course, uh, I remembered Anna Kendrick. Because uh, <laughs> Anna Kendrick is just Anna Kendrick. She doesn't really have to be anything else. She's just... She's just cute. And I know for you, Aubrey Plaza, that's, that's one that you've stated a lot. Yeah, but no, it's since childhood. That's an adult crush. Uh, well, yeah, that's an okay, adult yeah, crush. Since adulthood. <laughs> so, that's my future wife if I ever child- get to meet her and propose to her. <laughs> <laughs> childhood, okay, so probably for me, no, first one was Kimberly from the uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah. Kimberly... From Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And, uh, and Aisha, too. I thought Aisha was cute. Brooke that hosted Fox whenever yes! they were showing Power yes! Rangers, which oh I, got, I got to meet her, actually. I remember you telling me that. Yeah. Dude. And I and for me, also, there was also... Um, oh, what, was, uh, what was her name? In uh, VR Troopers, she was the... Uh, ah! I forget I forget her name, but Don't she... Don't believe I ever watched that. The female lead in VR Troopers, she was... She was uh, very cute too. Um, <laughs> when I was, uh, I remember also. I thought that uh, oh, that show. Uh, I don't know if you ever seen the show. Salute your shorts. Yeah. <laughs> Dina and uh, Telly. I liked both of them. I really don't remember them though. Uh, hold it's on. Like the only thing I really remember about Salute Your Shorts is the theme song. Nah, we're not gonna sing it. Camp on a wall. We hold you in our hearts. And when we think about you, it makes me want to fart. Hey, I'd say, I hope we never part. Now sing it right or pay the price. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's such a good show. Uh, salute your shorts. See, there we are. Yeah, Dina. I used to think like she was extremely cute. Uh, Heidi Lucas, that was her name. And then Telly. There we go. Yeah, I also thought that Telly was kind of cute too. I did, again, dude, just looking at this shit when I was a kid, and now looking at him, I'm older. I'm just like, wow. I, like, my tastes have changed drastically. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, Childhood Crushes number four by Emery Chu. Uh, also, uh, Emery Chu, uh, congrats on uh, your successful move to Japan. And I did, in fact, order one of your cups from Gamersups. So, hopefully, uh, that'll be here soon and I'm able to show that off. Because I like Gamersups pretty good. As, as, you know, as evident from our Russian Badger reactions. But we have here the video. Let's get it a watch. Here we go. Can well, damn, thank you for exposing all of us. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate nice. it. We'll never hear the end of it. Usually I end it with like, this video is sponsored by blah, blah, but I don't have that yet, so. All right. Why don't you just segue into it? Just yeah. Okay. This video is sponsored by, all right, put it in. 
This video was sponsored by Boxu. Boxu is a monthly subscription ah. service that delivers Japanese snacks and tea straight to your door from Japan. Each box features a different theme with an informative cultural booklet that tells you all about the theme, where the snacks are from, and details on the flavors. The first box that you'll receive is called Seasons of Japan, and it's meant to give you a little sampler taste of Japan's four seasons. Following that box, you'll receive themed boxes like this one. This one is themed Manatsu Fruits, celebrating the midsummer in Japan with citrus and fruity flavors. Mm. I'm not a big fan of super heavy snacks and super sugary sweets, and I I've always tea. wanted to try so something like this. Like me, this I know if we ordered it during the summer right now, though, that that show would show up melted. Huh? I know if we ordered it during the summer right now, that there's a good percent chance that stuff would show up melted all the... Mm. All liquefied. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, it depends on who's delivering. I mean, if it's UPS, I mean, usually they, they do a really good job of, of like, uh, they, if it's something that needs to be refrigerated or kept cool, they usually are good about that. If it's FedEx, no chance in hell. If it's the U.S. Postal Service, we're probably not going to get it. I'm just, just being honest. Family businesses that they partner with. I really liked the lemon tea financier and mixed berry cake because they paired well with the citrus green tea that the box came with. Mm. Although unsurprisingly, my absolute favorite snacks were the savory ones. The Okaki crackers have a coating of lemon and salt and a light airy crunch that make them really addicting to snack on. However, the seaweed tempura was my number one pick. I love tempura and I love seaweed, so this snack was absolutely perfect. <laughs> They're also flavored with olive and wine vinegar for that. Look, look at Amory too. She's so satisfied with herself. Right She's just like, I am getting paid to eat snacks right now. This is the <laughs> life. Oh my god. Other snacks. Pretty much everything worked really well with the green tea, which I promptly finished right after trying all the snacks. If you're interested in getting your own box and having a taste of some of the snacks I get here. And click the link in the description and use my code EMORICHU to get $15 off your first Boxu order. Thank you again to Boxu for sponsoring this video. Boxu. Can I expose myself before Emily does? Because Emily's going to do it if I don't oh, say right. it. Alright, what is it? Alright, so I had like a weird attachment to Hannah Montana as like a kid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh what's wrong with that? I can't relate. <laughs> so. I, can't what's wrong with that? I know plenty of guys around our age who who thought that like, Hannah Montana or Miley Cyrus was cute? I, but Hannah Montana came out like after my time of stopping with TV. So. Mm -hmm. Really, was stopping with the channel that it was on. Fair enough. Fair enough. I was fully into Cartoon Network and Toonami at that point. I think. <laughs> uh, it's like keep your Disney Channel. I got Cartoon Network. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've given you the full extent yeah, though, yeah. right? So for some reason, I was. Probably the one British kid who's obsessed with the Disney Channel. Mm -hmm. I just thought like it was so cool. This is back when they did like the annual games every year, and I was like, damn, that looks so fun. And my favorite Disney show of all was was Hannah Montana, and I can't for the life of me explain why I liked Hannah Montana. I just thought it was an amazing show as a kid. I thought, man, this is your peak writing. Okay, <laughs> she lives a double life, <laughs> and she has the best, the best of both oh, worlds. Shit. Is it sort of like the same way that kids in the in the states would romanticize British accents? Were you romanticizing the southern? I think I, I think I, I yeah maybe there was. Like, <laughs> a I, thought, I thought man, it must be such fun working on. The <laughs> I've had some British people ask me whenever my accent comes out. They've asked me to say a few things in like in like the country <clears throat> accent. And I'm just like, God dang it! Or shrag. It's like, let me tell you something right now, honey. I don't play games. Show up and get in the truck. Like, I told you to wait in the damn truck, woman. The Disney set, when in reality, it's probably like like horrible. <laughs> oh, yeah. and, like, and it's like, oh, you have a pimple. We're replacing you now with your new person. Uh, but I, I don't know why. I really liked Hannah Montana for some reason. Like uh, to, to an extent, right? Like this is, I've I never read a book, right? Uh, <laughs> as a kid, you don't say. I was right. I would I, I refused to read no. books as a kid. The one book that I was like, I'm gonna read it. 
It was fucking Miley Cyrus autobiography, dude. <laughs> no joke. I owned that copy. I remember one time I had a, a, a girlfriend come over. I was like 15, by the way. Yeah. Right. And, you know, we were like, she no. oh, my bed. It was like, oh, She no. saw it. And she... then she looked up and she just saw the fucking Miley Cyrus autobiography. <laughs> and she asked me, what on earth is that? And I had a, I had a hard time explaining it. I was yeah. like, listen, I, I think her music performances are amazing. You've got to watch the... Uh, the I, I, so This is so bad, right? That it, when, when they released the Hannah Montana movie, movie yeah i watched it like in like one p on like a pirated site it was like i literally <laughs> couldn't make out anything it was it was genuinely like 120 p it was so wow. coloring, but i was like oh my god my queen and so i actually it was a dance movie. it's called like hoedown throwdown and I, I had learned this what? dance completely. wow i don't know dude. why i've never i never ever once performed it out of yeah. sheer embarrassment but i learned it can you still do it? No, I can't still do it. I don't know what the fucking dance is. I can't remember it. How but I, was, I had a massive crush on Miley Cyrus when I was a kid. Don't know why. Oh, How have I never cute. heard about this before? Because it's like a, a an embarrassing story Are that I never wanted to mention. <laughs> okay, if we're going in that like territory thing. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> Jerry, oh, here we go. Wait, who? I Bring thought it. Hillary Duff was hot as fuck. There oh, you there go. You go. There you go. That, yes. That's my time. Yes. I just remembered. Like, I, you I was trying to remember... Them. Like uh, Lizzie McGuire, <laughs> like that was before Hannah Montana. Yeah, it and was. That was my time, and yes, like she, she was like she was the one before. She before was a childhood Miley crush Cyrus. of mine as well. Oh, dude, same, same. I remember when her album came out. It, her and also um, the girl who played uh, Ren Stevens on Even Stevens. Oh, uh, like, friggin' uh, Chrissy Carlson Ramon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. those two were like my childhood Disney oh, dude, Channel absolutely. crushes. <laughs> Pandora's box of my brain when you said Hannah Montana I was just like I don't know well, I don't know what it was there's nothing embarrassing it was? I think it's because like during that time another crush I had was Avril Lavigne yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's never God. into Avril yes. Lavigne I thought she was cute I remember Ooh. her in that tight white uh, that tight white tank top and I was just like hello I heard her music and it immediately just made me go Ugh. <laughs> I remember Ashley was was watching it on MTV. It, I think it was a uh, Skater Boy. Oh no, no, it was a uh, Complicated. Uh, and I remember just seeing Avril, and I'm just like, "Who that now? Who that?" <laughs> She's the earliest example I can remember of someone who has catchy sounding songs that are just awful, so they stick in your head and they're playing in your head despite the fact that you fucking hate them. Now, the modern version of that is Taylor Swift. For me, it was Britney Spears. Oh, I see. I liked Britney Spears back in the day. Britney Spears was a childhood crush of mine as well. Oh, same. Well, yeah. again, but that's the whole thing with Britney Spears. Her songs, at, at the time, you're enjoying them, and then you listen to them later, and it's like, this is some basic ass, like, right? Like, there is nothing of substance. It, it was in not this. great, but it was better. But it's fire. It was, be it was better than Avril oh, Lavigne. Oh, baby, babe. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Oh my yeah, even oh my even now, I'm not super into punk girls, to be honest. Like, punk's just not really my thing. I'm the metalhead, you know? Into the metal girls, goth girls, emo girls, stuff like that. You'd be surprised how often they overlap, though. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Avril Lavigne, like, like during that, like, complicated era Avril Lavigne, yeah, I was yeah. just like, yeah. oh God. Skater, I'm bricked up. Skater boy <laughs> oh, Avril Lavigne, whoa. I think, defines my taste in girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From, like, from, like, from, like 10 up or something. I was like, you know what? I don't need these, like, cutesy girls. Yeah, I want yeah, the yeah. girls that are like the rest <laughs> of them. Oh, my God. I want, I want, like, a badass, like, yeah, I don't take shit. Well, see, she company. looks, yeah, she's, yeah. she's way cuter than me. Avril Lavigne, like uh, just that design wise, like her outfit and everything, like that blows out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skate up, like the kind of girlfriend that you can bring to like a boys' night and be like, yeah, yeah. my girlfriend's just here. Yeah. And then all the boys will be like, yeah, we'll allow it. Yeah. <laughs> I know. She's like one of the dudes. Right? <laughs> one of the dudes, she's, exactly. She's, she's not like other girls. She's the kind of she's the you kind know? of girl you hang out with at the skate park and you would act. <laughs> Like, like they were just like another one of the boys, and yeah. then before you know it, you're kind of like, oh, I think I like you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like one of those girls. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, except for uh, they were never interested in me the same way back in the day. So, you know. I often, often like I, I was in different circles with uh, different groups, and I was often the outsider on all those. I, again, at the lunchroom, like I was often by myself because I didn't have very many friends. And the times where I did go over and like chat and, and chat with different groups, I talked to I talked to them about stuff that they were talking about. 
and they were like perplexed that I knew about it. I'm like, what? Well, I know, I know Avril Lavigne. I, I know Britney Spears. I know that. I I tried to be a jack of all trades with all the different styles that were in, and I think that's why I kind of got alienated a lot. Was that they didn't see me as one of them, but instead someone who was trying to become one of them. And I got called fake a lot, and I'm just like, why, why would you, why would you call me fake? I'm not, I'm not trying to be anyone but me. Everyone, I know. huh? People were weird like that. Yeah, like people pretending like what I'm doing is is wrong. I'm wanting to be friends with these people over here because we identify with the same stuff. But because I'm not in that group, I'm I'm faking it. Why why do you all think I'm faking it? And they never gave me an answer. Everybody liked saying the word poser back in the day. <laughs> you ain't kidding, Jesus. Anyway. Like, I remember having like, such a huge crush on Avril Lavigne, and I would like listen to Skater Boy. You guys like, really do share the same brain cell. Sorry? What's wrong yeah. with that? And the same brain cell, because I, I remember listening to Skater Boy religiously, and she ended up with a Skater Boy, and I'm just like, I'll be your Skater Boy. That song was the reason I learned how to start skateboarding. <laughs> Come on, oh, man. She wants me. Yeah. She wants like, me. Yeah. I was like, I want to be a Skater Boy. <laughs> Another girl you started I skating because of Avril Lavigne. I started skating because of CKY. We are not the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Amy Lee from Evanescence. Oh. Yes! Uh, no. Nope. Valid, valid. What? No. Nope. Come on! Because there was a band out at the same time that nobody else fucking gave the time of day that I was smitten with the lead singer from called Flyleaf. Lacuna Coil. Oh, dude, yeah. yeah. Lacuna Coil. I remember. And I was like, she's knockoff Lacuna Coil singer. Like, the girl from Lacuna Coil has better pipes and better looks. Like, everybody oh. was like, hey, me Lee, hey, me Lee. And I'm like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> yeah, I've just never been as big of a fan of her as other people have. That's fair. Like, I admitted, like, after growing out of my phase of everyone being mainstream radio trash, that, like, it was just, you know, it's not mainstream radio trash. She's just not really. Like, their style's not really as much my thing as, like, other bands of similar sounds. I also think yeah. that Sharon Denadell from Within Temptation has a better voice than Amy Lee. I mean, I think a lot of people do, but, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Within Temptation's very good. Yes. Hey. It's uh, Lacuna Coil, um, Sirenia. There's right. a lot of, like, girls with, like, operatic, like, singing that just uh, fucking... Um, Nightwish. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, uh, especially their original vocalist. Um, oh, dude, yeah, she was... What's her fucking name? Taria. Yeah, Taria, yeah. 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 She yeah. had such a good range. Taria, Tarian, or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Anyway, sorry, back to this. Uh, you like eyeliner, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. What's I wrong with that? Yeah, because yeah, like, one, of, one of my other childhood crushes, that's not real. Yeah. That That's a made-up character. Ah, here was, we go. Uh, Raven from Teen Titans. Okay. <laughs> That's everyone. I agree. Like, That's everyone. I agree with that one. Dude, even people now are still crushing over Raven, and the show's been off the air now for how long? Yeah. Jesus. I mean, it feels oh, creepy now steer. because, yeah, you know, who, like, Teen I'm Titans. By Raven. I was just like, meh. But back when we were teens. Yep. It was definitely a childhood crush. Absolutely. Were you I, a Starfire really? fan too? I didn't really like Starfire. Right. No, no. no. <laughs> Starfire um, was like, I, I thought Starfire was cute as well. I love, I love this mid. image here. Goth girl supremacy. Cute girl supremacy. They're both mid. <laughs> <laughs> I like both. I mean, hell, there's some cute I, girls I think there. Raven is the hottest, but Starfire is still hot. Like, that's what I thought back in the day. Mm. So. You I, I, I wanted. I wanted someone. I wanted someone like dark and mysterious and brooding. I like. I like the. So far, she's a magical girl. Right? I, 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 He's not I, wrong. I, there was definitely one point in my life where I thought Lois Griffin was an attractive character. Wait, wait, which, wait, which, wait, which, wait, which, unironically. Yeah. Oh my god! She, no, no, no. I got it. Mrs. Incredible. Oh. oh. See, I did. I did not see these movies until recently, and it was like recently that I saw them. And then I was in the theater, and I, I just kept staring in the theater. I was like, damn. It's like she's Miss got, got some cake, such huh? a badonka dunk. She got yeah. some cake. It's like she's very hot for a Pixar mom. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Incredible. Oh. I remember seeing this yeah. here and just being like, 
your proportions really haven't changed that much since when you were younger. I mean, why are you sighing at yourself looking in the mirror? It's like, I got a big butt. Everyone, everyone likes Mrs. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Why would anyone that find that Lois Griffin like my, attractive? That I don't was know. like my first MILF. Like, my, my, my MILF awakening. My <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, if we're talking about MILFs... Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Who's your first MILF? I yeah. think... Okay, this is going to sound weird. Lois Griffin. No, not Shut Lois up. Griffin. Not Lois Griffin. All right, okay. First one, one of the first ones I like. Now, you're going to be like, what? Dude, Timmy Turner's mom is hot. <laughs> what? Bro, you need help. I don't see that one. Don't... Don't go back and look, dude. She's caked up, dude. Dude, she. Well, I, I gotta look I this up. Like Dexter's oh no! Mom. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, uh, I was kind of thinking also Dexter's mom also over in the Powerpuff Girls. Oh movie. yes, yeah. Sarah Bellum. Yeah, Sarah Bellum. Yes. Tartakovsky. Oh, Craig McCracken and Gandy Tartakovsky, when drawing cartoon characters, basically have the same concept. We don't see. I know she's hot. Oh, Sarah Bell. She's definitely oh, hot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. yeah. Yes. No, because she's powerful too. And even as a kid, I was like, "That's hot." I don't know why. That's hot. <laughs> I like that she. Hey, I like, I like when a woman can kick ass. Woman shaped. Yeah. yeah, part of yeah, part of her point know. was to like you know make the mayor sweat as well. So yeah, like obviously she was made to be hot for that reason. So you can take off the whole week. Yeah. I'm looking this up right now. Timmy Turner's been oh looking at it. <laughs> bro! Bro, she is caked. I, I gotta say. Yeah, I'm so sure. That's what I'm saying. Look at her. You, you, you don't remember it because you were a kid. It's, it's the thighs, man. It's the bro. thighs, man. She has like beautifully she shaped like thighs. She's, she's definitely built like a Pixar mom. That's for sure. <laughs> oh my God. That's the, okay. This one here was just ridiculous. Yeah. Like the... <laughs> That Pixar short about the dude's brain literally telling him not to do anything or else he'll die, but his heart was just like, please, let's do something. And he comes across this girl, and dear lord, the hips on this woman. Like, like my god. Oh, dude, I mean, it's, it's, uh, I googled a bunch earlier, and I was like, which ones did I really like? I remember as well, Kim Possible, her mom also was. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kim Possible herself. Real. No, no, no. Yeah, Kim Possible was my childhood crush, especially the black dress. Yeah. Like, oh yes, Kim Possible and Kim's mom. Actually, I like both of them. Because so that, that's the you. you know we're talking about the black dress thing in uh, uh, '86. Yeah, yeah, like, that's yeah, right. Kim Possible had that black dress, looked fire back in the day. I was like, get that shit out of here. <laughs> oh, I'm a mother who raised a, 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 <laughs> such a compelling character. <laughs> Wow. Dude, Kim's mom is she's a doctor as well. Do you know that? No, I didn't. Know. Like, yes. Not only is she like not she only like, it's literally Kim but older. So like perfect. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Perfection. I'm like I'm like I see you know that meme where it's like I want to see the real Kim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, the, the real, real Kim. Kim. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. It's like <laughs> give me the older Kim. No, the mom Kim. And Perfection. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. My first What about she go? I guess I don't know. She go. Yeah, she go as yeah. well. I thought she goes hot, and also it, it helps having Nicole Sullivan because Nicole Sullivan's voice is just mm, perfection. Obviously, you know my milf nowadays, a fictional character, Baka goes mom. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we talk about my hero, he's just like, if my Baka goes mom dies, I riot. May crush. It's, like, it's it's a it's Sakura from Naruto. <laughs> oh God! And I hate and I hate myself oh for my saying this. Okay. It's, it's because wait, that's the same with Dietus. He loves Sakura. Oh my God! Fuck that's that's, that's, that's it. Him. That is not helping me. Since watching more anime, I've like seen that you know there are better tunes than Sakura. So I've I've moved I moved on quickly. I moved on quickly, you know. But she set the benchmark of just like oh I like a, I like girls with like a little bit of attitude, you know. And uh, well, see, mine uh, was Sindray, Bulma Sindray because that was first exposed to Dragon Ball Z. So well, I mean, okay, Dragon Ball Z, the trip to Namek, where we see Bulma in that tank top and her and like just her tank top and panties. I was just like. <laughs> And then when we got into the Cell Saga, it was Videl. Yes, so. Videl is yeah. Again, it it's strange how that shit works. 
to them. One that always stuck by me and I will live to this day is Nishi no Tsukasa from Ichigo 100%. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Like, she, she's hot as fuck. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, she's super hot. <laughs> and like, I don't know, like every Tolavari character I fucking love. Wow. But that's just because half the time they have no clothes on. So like, as a 15 year old, you're like, titties, I like you. <laughs> and, like, it didn't go any further yeah. than that. Oh my god, she's wearing nothing. My puff. Oh <laughs> the horny gel bat. <laughs> Bonk. I do not wish to be horny anymore. Yeah, my wife. My wife, hello. Wait, so did you have more anime crushes than cartoon crushes growing up? My god, I thought I wanted to grow up and get a oh, girlfriend yes! like from Love Hina. <laughs> I'm getting the sense that he Love heard... Hina is a friggin' riot. Oh my god. Never watched it. It was a riot back in the day. I, I kind of forgot it existed there were until so just now. so many cute girls on that show. I remember when I was in high school and that first started coming, I was like, what the hell? How come I've never heard about this? Why wasn't this on Tuna? Oh. Type of woman is just someone who could beat your ass. Well, kind of. Do you know as well? Love the kind of woman that could kick my ass. Spike Spiegel. Yep. Well, I was going to say, it's not the fact that I want a woman to kick my ass. I want a woman, a woman who is capable and able to handle herself. And, I mean, hell, Electra from uh, friggin' Cowboy Bebop the movie. If ever once in a while she perfectly. has to smack me upside my head to make my memory work again. Exactly. Fair enough. Exactly. That same same but deal. That's why I love Samus and Ron. <laughs> mm, sexy. Well, yeah, especially Zero Suit Samus. Holy I shit. I mean, she's even sexy in the big metal oh, suit. Oh, that's true, too. But it's like this badass as hell. Again, yeah, just that skin tight suit. Like, I just uh, I picture, like, you know the fucking uh, fantasy drawings of the big muscular dude with the sword, and it's got the woman sitting down there, like, holding on to his leg? You know, I just picture Samus standing there with like her big gun and me just down by her leg. Like, you cower behind like, her. Just like, yeah, I could just see holding you, on like, to the leg of her big metal power suit. I could just see you, like, like, your head out and just be like, Is it safe to come out yet, mother? It's like the roles are switched. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I could see that. I mean, I'm a man of my word. Either, way, either, like... either beat his ass or just ignore him and be yeah. off. <laughs> oh. he, he definitely stuck to his gun. Yeah. Yeah. Did anyone watch Recess? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't. Spinelli? Oh my god, I knew you were going to say that. Oh my Wait, god. The one with like the beanie, right? Yeah, the the art style god. never really... Uh, no! Never really tipped me off to feeling any kind of attraction to any of the characters in that show. Just but I art, did like the Recess. Art style was not attractive. Recess was a lot of fun, though. It's yeah, a great show. Yeah, it was a show. hilarious show. No, look, it was an attitude, man. Oh, I was boy. like, I was like, yo, I think tomboys are like pretty hot, right? You literally just want girls to beat you up. <laughs> you, are you good, girl? Are you good? I'm good, man. You good, man. Good, man. You see, yeah. so I like a strong, independent woman, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he maybe just spits yeah. on you sometimes. Like, oh, like, dude. Like, like Spiegel said, like, I love yes! you. Yes! my ass. Man. Yep. Like, yeah. Yes! Is, there you go. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I love the stereotype. It's so dumb. It's like, all right, I'm a mechanic, thus I must be wearing a coat around my waist and I'm dirty. Like, and I'm, 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 I'm oiled up. Also, my midriff must be showing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah, that's, yeah. Oh, that's, the, that's the mechanic. That's the mechanic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Winry. Of course, you had to put Winry in there. Oh, and of course, uh, what's May, your name? From My Hero. Yeah, from My Hero. Oh, dude. Yes, uh, Iron Fortress. Uh, not Iron Fortress, but, um, oh, gosh. Was... At least May is not showing her midriff. Like, this is true. This is true, but <laughs> look at the hey, dude, like look up, uh, look real quick at the fucking mechanic from Final Fantasy XV. Oh, Covenary, Covenary Iron Fortress. That's the name of that that show right there. The one with the, I mean, real quick, go, Google the mechanic from Final Fantasy XV. Oh, I've seen her. I yeah, just, uh, yeah. Dude. I can't remember her name. And I always loved the mechanic characters that were girls in games because it's like it's like. Just working with my hands, getting the, getting the job, doing getting the good old fashioned way. You love uh, Cindy from Final Fantasy. Didn't even like we couldn't even have to do all that on Google. Yep. They were gonna show off plenty of cheesecake here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an adult crush, man. Yeah, yeah. Adult also, she has the shorts crush. that yeah. let oh, the bottoms yeah. of her cheeks hang out, and that's fucking the Daisy hot, Dukes, so, man. Yep. The fucking Daisy Dukes. Oh, that's another one that I had a crush on in my childhood because Dukes of Hazard played a lot on TV yeah. back then. Friggin' Catherine Batch. Holy shit. What a woman. The only reason why yeah. I finished 15. <laughs> really? I was like, I'm doing it for her. What do you, what do you guys think of <laughs> Princess Zelda? 
Zelda, okay, it depends on the Breath of the Wild? Oh, smash. yes. Smash, Hardline Zelda, Smash. Absolute Smash. Absolute yeah. Smash. Like, but, uh, Wind the, the Zelda, uh, like, so from Ocarina of Time, um, whenever everyone grows up, I was always like, ooh, Nabaru. Yeah. Yeah. You know, she's basically like the the desert, like, she's got the well, kind of like, a, you know, Jasmine, Princess Jasmine type well, outfit. Again, like, so. the whole thing with the, uh, with the Gerudo is the fact that... Well, actually, you meet her when she's an adult already, so in general, it's not just when everybody grows up, like, well, her, her in general. Well, she the was, Gerudo, uh, I mean, that's the whole thing with them, it's just, they're just a bunch of Amazonian women, and every one that's born there is literally like an Amazonian woman, mm. and the one out of every century... That's born a male literally becomes a tyrant. Yep. That's just Which is Ganondorf. Every time. That's uh, basically a, it's basically a curse that the Gerudo have, and it sucks. <laughs> that was like the first Zelda game I completed. I right. just, you know, at first I'd seen like Princess Zelda in the previous Zelda games. I'm like, yeah, I'm already, I'm already a princess kind of guy. But then she was like the cool, edgy pirate who turns out to be the princess. I was like, yo, I can be your angle or your devil. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Damn it. I feel like you Damn it, Garnt. The least attractive. Well, I was going to say, knowing Garnt, the fact that he is, that he, who he's married to now. By the way, congratulations, Garnt. Um, Knowing who he's married to, and like how, uh, basically, I'm not gonna say she bullies him, but she definitely has him wrapped around her finger, and I think and it's a healthy relationship. They they pick, they pick and have fun with each other, but again, Garnt, if if you are in trouble, blink twice. I really like Twilight Princess Zelda's design, but yes. what's the second one there? I, I don't recognize her. Is that, like, from later in Skyward Sword or something? I don't know. It's like, that's a really pretty design. That, that's a really great design. Like, all these here are, like, pretty good designs. I mean, Skyward Sword is yeah. like, probably the most plain out of all of them. I mean, heck, even the... Like, heck, even the, the Wind Waker one has a lot more detail to it. This one's just very simple and very nomadic. That's, um... That's the early Skyward Sword design. Yeah. I wonder if that is the later uh, so I don't think Sword. that is the later one because they look like they have different kind of like... Uh, oh, different art, art style. Definitely. Yeah, art style and uh, hair and stuff. Huh. Anyone in the comment section, the second one here... Is that Breath of the Wild 2 or something? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, but let us... Wait, 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 wait. I bet that's from Hyrule Warriors. Oh, maybe so. Maybe that's so. That's probably why I don't recognize it. Because that's like one of the only Zelda games I've not played. Confirm with us in the comment section below, chat. Is that, in fact, uh, Hyrule Warriors uh, Princess Zelda? Because if so, you know, thanks, thanks for that. But if not, please let us know which one that is. Anyway, so uh, you were saying, Garnt. Zelda. Yeah, like you don't like the Twilight Princess Zelda? Yeah, Twilight Princess Zelda. Like Twilight, Twilight Princess Zelda is hot. Banging. Very hot. Yeah. Very hot. Uh, there was one character that I almost had a crush on when I was like 10. What do you mean almost? Like, you're like, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Like, I stopped myself. Yeah. I, was, I was very young. And this is when I first discovered AMVs. Mm. Yeah. And I oh, my God. AMVs. And sometimes there were like, because some people make compilation AMVs. And yeah. And there's characters that, like, from anime you don't know. Yeah. You guys know the anime Gravitation? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. yeah. Which one? Nope. The, the Yaoi one? No, no, no. Which character? Pink-haired one? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I know this one. I know this because Gary's girlfriend would not shut the hell up about it. And we had to watch, I think we had to watch the first season with her. Oh my god. She was obsessed with Yaoi. Obsessed. Jesus. I, mean, of course it is. I didn't know what Gravitation was. I saw glimpses of him in like an AMV. Yeah, right, yeah, I was yeah. like, oh my god, that character's so cute. Shindo, Shindo. Shindo. I was yeah. like, oh, Batting for the wrong team so though, huh, oh, honey. Like, I want to see more of him. Where's he from? Yeah, Shindo. And this is the pink yeah, yeah, guy. At this yeah, point yeah, in my sure. life, Yaoi yeah, was not even like a concept that yeah. I didn't like, even That you knew about. Yeah, yeah, I had no idea what the hell Yaoi was. Yeah. And then God. I saw a another clip in the same AMV where mm -hmm. it was Shindo. Shindo was in like a schoolgirl outfit. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was oh, like, God. is and this a girl? Because I was nothing. 10 and like yeah. grew up in a very religious household. Right. <laughs> I was like, if I have a crush on a girl? I, I was like torn. Oh, I was like, 
am I gay? <laughs> 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 I remember I was like, no, no, I can't have a crush on this character. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. And like, even when I looked up the anime gr- uh, gravitation, yeah. like, because I didn't understand that yeah, like, yeah, yeah. was a thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the other guy who looked very much like a guy. So yeah, I was like, right. oh my god, it's a girl and a guy. Like, I had a crush on a girl <laughs> character. I can't. And so, <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, that's the same. So you stopped yourself. Yeah. Damn, religion always ruins all the good fun. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Are there any characters that you discovered as an adult that you had the Doki Dokis for? Oh, from my oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, I just remembered who like my one of my favorite moms in anime is Lisa Lisa from JoJo's. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> bro, bro, I, I, my, I, I wait. She is very hot. Okay. Revy from Black Lagoon. Yes. 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 Oh my yes. god. I don't like her. Gark. I don't like, like, I love the kind of woman that can kick my ass, but she is a bitch. Like, she is mean. Like, I don't watch, like how mean she is. When you watch the rest of the show, you'll understand why she is the way that she is. She's just like, she's not just trying to kick my ass. Like, she's straight up threatening to murder me, like, on multiple occasions and sounding mm-hmm. serious about it. Like, if from what I know about her so far, like, I'm just like, uh, Again. She's definitely hot, but that's scary. Again, dude, <laughs> you just have to wait. For the rest of the show to play yeah. out, because I mean, I can I can guess from the credits that there's going to be quite a bit of character development with her because the credits are very symbolic of something, you know. You'll see, you'll see. There's there's a lot to. Really. There's obviously a sadness like to her character with if the credits are to be it's, trusted. You'll see. That's all I'm gonna say. But look at Garnt back here. Garnt is just. Oh, okay. it's for, the the, way, for those confused way. right now, I'm literally in the middle of watching uh, Black Lagoon uh, right now. Oh, by the so. way, I forgot to mention, Garnt is Geekuk. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> yes, oh yes, 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 oh yes, 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 can I see? Ravi is no, Ravi. the definition no, Ravi. of a girl that can kick your ass. Yeah, so Ravi, 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 Ravi from Black Lagoon is yeah. so fucking hot. Yeah. Oh, I've seen her. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's yeah. so hot. Yeah. Yeah, and then we got. Uh, I have more that I've discovered as an adult too, obviously. So um, same. Hanji from Attack on Titan. <laughs> yeah, Hanji. I knew. I knew that one. Also, uh, adult Mikasa's are like more like. Adult Mikasa's. I'm not sure what their age is by the end of it, so I haven't even. I think she's like played 19. with that idea. I think she's like 19. I think. And it's still too young for me. Um, Half your age plus seven. Yeah. I get you. But uh, let's see. So Hanji, and then like, um, Jesus freaking. Christ, uh, that I watched man. Death Parade recently. And the supporting main character of Death Parade, not the bartender, obviously. Jesus Christ! No matter where I click, okay, there, uh, fine. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to linger too much on one thing on YouTube because YouTube's gonna, the algorithm's gonna catch it, and they're just gonna be like, up, oh, demonetized. I just put a black box over it when you edit the video. I guess. Jesus, the thigh gap on Revy is just legendary at this point, and the fact that they haven't gone back and finished Black Lagoon in terms of the anime. A lot of people are still pissed about that. But I guess you could consider it as an adult because I didn't really start watching Cowboy Bebop until I was towards the end of high school, so almost 18. Yeah. But obviously Faye. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. the, the girl from the movie as well, the one that Electro. he literally says the line about. Yeah, you know? Electra Ogaroa. Yeah. Yeah, o- Oliveira, uh, but they mispronounce it in the dub. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. A girl that can kick your ass. Yeah, right. yeah, she's yeah. so hot. Yeah, just everything about her character designs, oh, the right, tattoos, so the tattoo, the the midriff, the yes. sh- the short shorts. Oh my the god, the dukes. Oh, 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 <laughs> the oh, okay, the Daisy Dukes, okay. brother. This is one that I felt very strongly towards. Mm-hmm. Uh, Selty from Duora. Yes. Yeah, oh yeah, my yeah. God. I, like, I never thought I could fall off the golden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Yeah, yeah. Selty is Komi san done right. Oh my. Okay, Gart. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro! Call me Santa, but like, hot. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the call me fans in the background. <laughs> of course, guard with a hot take that I knew was gonna piss people off. As soon as I heard him say that, I'm like, uh oh, here we go.
Both it's both waifus. I can't talk, but I'm just like you know, Salty. Salty got like some. No, nah, Salty. Salty, Salty has a million times better than. Also, Fire Salty Kami. has narration, and and she sounds hot as fuck. I had a phase where any character voiced oh, by Salty or Miyuki, I thought. Like, I hate that I just had that spoiled uh, about her character for me. Though that kind of sucks. What? Uh, the fact that she doesn't have a head. Uh, I've still not seen the show yet. Also, Fujiko. I mean... <laughs> Wait, is that uh, from... Uh, yeah, that's from a uh, friggin' High School of the Dead. Yeah, I was gonna say, it looks like the one girl from High School of the Dead. Yeah, the... Uh, uh, the it definitely had the some Kendo. waifus in it. Oh, yeah. A lot of cheesecake. If you ignore the fact that they're high school girls, you know? <laughs> like... Except for the teacher. The teacher is not... And she's 26. Oh, uh, who's the fucking, um, the one teacher that gets brought in, uh, like the assassin lady in assassination class? Oh, I remember who you're talking yeah. about. Ah, the blonde. Like, she is obviously there to be like. Cheesecake. You know, 100% like MILF <laughs> material, pretty much. Like, I don't know that she has a kid, but you know, well, she's like of the MILF age. Yeah. Also, uh, well, Fujiko Mine is like the classic go-to. I had a phase where any character voiced by Soul Shield Miyuki, I thought, like, true, Inaba true. from uh, um, Kokoro Connect, like, yeah, I thought yeah. was, like, so hot. <laughs> I kind of just realized something, like, with a lot of the crushes that I said. Oh, I think I like girls with baggage, man. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, Gart! You want to fix them? You want to fix them, man? You just want to fix them? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <some issues. laughs> Are you ever into, like, Inuyasha? No. As a character? Because he basically gives off the same vibe as Kyo. If I watched Inuyasha, I probably would have been into him. Yeah. I read a little bit of it, but at the time I was like nine, and I saw titties, and I got scared, and I never picked up. <laughs> <laughs> picked up the manga at nine, saw titties, and got scared. <laughs> 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 God, please, please don't strike oh me Oh my down. God! <laughs> Come on! I, I just, I didn't pick it up at the right age. Right, right, right. right. All right, all right. Oh, hear yeah. me out. Yeah. Hear me out. I didn't want to say it, but hear me out. Go on. Kronk. Kronk. <laughs> That's understandable. Is it for the spinach puffs? Please tell me it's because of the spinach puffs. Squeak, squeaker, squeak, squeaking, squeak, squeaking, squeaking, squeaker, squeak. From Emperor's New Groove. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, okay. That's a, M's down. Yeah. It's all coming together. I mean, she's down bad. Characters. That's a character with different kinds of issues. Yeah. 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 No, no. It was a character where, like, when I was younger, I didn't I didn't see it. I didn't understand it. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. that I'm older, I get it. What is Wait, Quark is the guy who, uh... He's what? the himbo. He just sounds like Dinus. <laughs> <laughs> that explains it why they're together. <laughs> I don't wonder you, like, you were looking for dinosaurs this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see that again. I gotta see that. I don't wonder you, like, you were looking for dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Dinus is all time. <laughs> 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 so yeah. I, oh. How would you sum up your taste then? Basic. Like my current taste? Basic. Yeah. I like them goofy. <laughs> Basic. Goofy. And, okay. oh, shut up. <laughs> so okay. the, no blonde hair. No blonde. Have you had like a single blonde hair crush? I can't think of them right now. Damn. Damn. Like, like, dude. I think, I think the guy from Spy Family. Hey, Lloyd! Yeah, there you go. Uh, Lloyd's yeah. awesome. Uh, Yor is hot. Yor is fucking yeah. fire. Like, that's the newest waifu. Yor's a waifu. For sure. Yor's a hardline waifu, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Jesus. I, and I, I wonder... If, oh, and again, I wonder the if kind of woman that could kick my ass or yes. just kill me. I wonder if Gart's going to look at that and just be like, Yor's my new waifu. <laughs> As well. I mean, I mean, anyone yeah. who wears a suit is like ten times more fuckable than if they weren't in the suit. <laughs> God dang it! Now I gotta now I gotta buy a suit. I, it works on straight men as well. We find people, yeah. men in suits yeah. way yeah, more yeah, attractive. Yeah. Like, like damn. You know yeah. Movie, what is it? Kingsman. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Colin Firth. You like Colin Firth in the film? Is he the old one? Yeah, yeah. the only guy. No, no, the younger one. No, Taron Egerton. Colin, Colin Firth is way hotter. What? Come on, dude. No. <laughs> Taron Egerton. Taron Egerton is much easier on the eyes than Colin Firth. 
There, I said it. Way hotter. Colin Firth. Bro, you see that scene in the church where he like slaps the shit out of everyone? That, oh my God, I was... And he like shuts the door. Oh yeah, my yeah, God, yeah, my yeah. pants were down in the cinema, man. Even <laughs> oh, pop, no! Pop no! No, 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 bro! He was holding up the popcorn boy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you for not drawing it. I thank you for not giving us a visualization, M. That's oh, that's much easier to deal with. <laughs> yeah, resting on it. <clears throat> There's one that surprised me, yeah. but it was in college. Okay. You know who I had a huge crush on in college? Who? Sandra Clegane from Game of Thrones. What? <laughs> that, well, Roy McCann is like is just a freaking peach of a human being. Roy McCann is just a, a like. A very cheap, like, he always plays such assholes on screen, but behind the camera, he is one of the sweetest human beings you'll ever run into. I mean, at least the Hound has good character development. Oh, dude. Some redemption before later, so. Well, again, I mean. Before they ruined everything. Before, yeah, before season eight, before they season eight at his ass. And I really wished that, uh, you know, they, we could go back and fix it all, but we can't, sadly. Um, <laughs> but. Rory McCann, he's a gigantic six foot six Scottish just sweetheart. Everyone who has met him has said the exact same thing. It's like even uh, what's his name, uh, the the strong world strongest man, uh, uh, Hathor Bjornsson, uh, Bjornsson, basically said that you know fighting Rory McCann was just like trying to fight like his best friend because you know they they actually like worked out and lifted weights together and became really good friends. And he was just like, I don't want to swing a sword at him. He's so nice. He's so he's so cool. Uh, but yeah. Anyway. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I get that. I get that. That's honestly. But he's got like he's literally. You said you don't like issues. He's he's like literally issues. He's nothing <laughs> but issues. That's why surprise though, right? Everybody has yeah. issues. Oh, I see, yeah. I see, I see. Name one Game of Thrones character. Everyone in life issues. has issues, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> the only one that didn't have issues was Joffrey, and he was a fucking dickhead. Well, like, okay. I mean, that's issues. Like, I guess, but compared to everyone else, Joffrey had the easiest life. Yeah. He had n- almost no baggage. The only baggage he had was when he became king, he was he had his his power checked by his grandfather Tywin, just being like. The king is tired and should go to bed. And <laughs> Joffrey was trying to pretend like, I am the king! Any man who says he's the king is not really the king. And just... Again, that's not really issues. That's just a little bastard needing to have his fucking head checked. Yeah, he's a spoiled psychopath. And from what I understand, Jack Gleason was so happy when his character died because he was just like, oh, thank God, I won't get fucking death threats anymore. Because that literally happened. Jack Gleason. Hate kept the character, death not the actor. Well, and plus, Jack Gleason, from what everyone says, is just like uh, Rory McCann, is an absolute sweetheart. Mm. He actually retired from acting and is now just like a permanent. Like, he actually graduated college. I forget what he's doing now, but he's not ever probably going to come back to acting. Mm. And that's okay. He made his money and he's living his best life. Oh Why is you say Bakugo's mom? Yes! Oh. Yes! Point to attractiveness for bringing Bakugo into the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But she is attractive. Oh, like you both this little shit. Yeah, she let Bakugo, like, happen. Yeah. So I, I'm kind of like, what else would you let happen? Hello, welcome to the end of the video. <laughs> Very sorry, it's so abrupt and awkward again, but my original ending had to be moved to the front for the sponsor, so this will be the new ending. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching the fourth childhood crushes i hope you enjoyed it and this is probably the last childhood crushes video i Aww. plan to ever make originally i wasn't even gonna go past three but people kept asking and i knew that the trash taste boys were the perfect candidates especially since i'm in japan now so i recorded this with them <laughs> after they recorded their trash taste episode with me I really loved doing this series. It was a lot of fun. And I know that it's like the most popular video series on my channel, but I also wanted to avoid doing that thing where 
like a topic gets milked so much that it becomes boring or like not entertaining. Just do like one a year. No, no. <laughs> do one a year and also do it with different people. Yeah. Like, like if get a circle of friends that you trust to talk about this stuff. It's just people like, are going to keep asking you for it. Like it's not going to stop. No. Much like how people never stop us a- asking us to do reactions to your videos and like it happens all the time. And uh, and we love reacting to your stuff. It's just, you know, we we try to give other people a chance too. I mean, hell, that's it's just how it is. But I know this one got recommended all to hell, which is why we're here doing it. Also, we're just fans of him. And I also still congrats on your move to Japan. Glad it went as smoothly as possible. Uh, I use that term loosely. But anyway, let me just go ahead and finish this. Not that I think it's gotten to that point. I'm just saying that like while it's still really good, I feel like it's a good place to end it. Especially because this is my fourth one. So I personally have completely run out of crushes to discuss and talk about so yeah i i think four is a good number to end on as soon as this is uploaded i'm gonna go to sleep uh, i have a flight tomorrow and i will be flying to california for vidcon so if you plan on attending i will probably see you there nice okay goodbye <laughs> well there you go ladies and gentlemen and we have officially been recording this video for an hour and five minutes on an original 20 minute video. Yeah. God have mercy. We Couldn't cannot shut, shut the hell up. We cannot shut up. I am so. Actually, you know what? I'm not sorry about that. We had shit to say. Yeah. A lot about crushes, like real ones and fake ones. So, damn. This, this show or this like series that M has done. If this is the last one, that's fine. I mean, that's just how it is. But at the same time, you know, I'm really happy that we were like we were able to watch these in you know, in the fashion that we did. I mean, we were a bit late to the party on them, but I mean, hell, I just <laughs> I just I'm glad we were able to enjoy them and able to discuss as much as we have been able to cuz some of these videos that we watch, we don't, we we barely have anything to say. Like we're we're doing a reaction series to Parasite, and during the first half of the most recent episode, we said nothing <laughs> because we were just so engrossed into it, and you know, it, it's just like we felt saying something would just would take us out of that moment. And eventually, we did start saying stuff. My brain just forgot to say anything, basically. Oh, same, same. I was just like, I, I was like, let's go, say. let's keep watching. But this is a series that, if this is the last one, I'm glad we were able to watch it, and I'm glad we were able to discuss as much as we have been. Um, more people keep asking us to watch more Emory Chu videos, in which we will in the future. I know we will, because this is this is basically like, one of our newer, more like a lot of fans who have tuned into us now want us to watch Emory Chu. I mean. <laughs> Uh, and I'm not against it. I love it. I love the fact we're able to watch Emory Chu. So, anyway, this has been an hour and seven minutes worth of a reaction, at least on our end. I guarantee this is going to be cut down quite a bit uh, in post-production. Post-production, Nate, you are going to have your hands full. So, anyway, until next time, I'm Nate. I am Nick. We'll see you later, everybody. Peace.